So I'm sitting here in Ontario and um, I have a tire issue I'm on the trailer I was picking up. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick the, uh, the way my uh, truck is set up. I got my GoPro there and uh, I turn that on once in a while before I start to drive. You know, that way I'm not uh, distracted driving. It's just there recording when I'm driving. Um, then I got the, uh, the tablet here. Uh, mounted against the window and that one is uh, using my trucker's path. That one is pretty handy. And then I've got my uh, phone mount there and the phone usually has the Google Maps going before trip. Like I said, I use three different GPS devices. And then I've got my uh, tablet, the company tablet there, which has the navigation and everything in here. So these three devices uh, help me navigate properly to my destinations. Um, and then on top here, this is where I keep my uh, my paperwork, my BOLs. Uh, I got storage here, storage there, and then I've got uh, let me see my uh, my uh, ice chest here. And inside the ice chest, it's not summer, so I didn't put any ice in here, but I got all my drinks in arm's length, so uh, you know if arms reach, so that if I uh, need something, I can get it out. I got my snacks in here. Uh, in that, that huge Tupperware and then beyond that I've got my uh, well, I got trash here This is how I connect the trash. My, my truck's a mess right now though it's, it's probably not a good time to be doing this but and then I've got my uh, refrigerator there and then I've got my freezer Right in front of it blocking that door because uh, the refrigerators on these uh, Cascadia's Have been known to open on its own while you're driving especially when you're going through really rough terrain or bumpy roads it, that door will swing open. So I put this heavy freezer unit right up against it. And that way um, it keeps the door from opening. And also this freezer allows you to have a, a bunch of frozen foods in there so you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for uh, food at the truck stops. And then everything else is just, uh, oh, here's my, uh, my microwave and my TV. My bed's a mess, sorry. And then I got uh, storage everywhere else. So that's pretty much the things that I wanted to highlight. But anyway, let me show you the tire. It's super windy here in Ontario. That's why I'm inside the uh, truck. But let's go out there. So I picked up this trailer. And this trailer... Um, yeah, this trailer has this huge gash on the tire. I don't know if you can see that. See that? So if that tire doesn't hold up, that'll peel off, right? It'll peel off with all those bumps and stuff. So anyway, that's, I just wanted to give you a quick update. So cheers. I cannot believe this. I was driving on the westbound 10 freeway near Chiriaco Summit and my tire blew out on the trailer. It's an older trailer. You can see what happened. It's uh, shredded. Just peeled out. Second time calling emergency tire services this week. Wow, challenging. What is going on, my people? My tire blew out on my way to Southern California from Arizona. What's well, actually blew out in uh, California at the uh, Chiriaco Summit. So I pulled over on uh, off the exit on uh, Chiriaco Road. Try to get out of the sun, man. It's hot there. Um, so. Yeah, behind me is the General Patton uh, Museum. They got a bunch of old tanks there. And um, yeah, I'm waiting for my uh, emergency road services guy uh, to show up and uh, fix my tire. Uh, yeah, it's the second time I'm calling emergency tire services this week. So it's kind of challenging. It's eating a lot into my hours. So, uh, but anyways, I uh, just wanted to uh, touch base with you guys uh, this week um, with uh, two emergencies. Uh, who would have figured, right? Um, I think it ate a, ate a big chunk of my time up. Uh, it looks like they scheduled me for the rest of the week and I'll be ending close to 2,100 miles, which is okay, but uh, it could have been a lot better because the week started off pretty strong. But uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. When I was young, my parents bought me uh, this, uh, it's, like, it's almost like an encyclopedia, but it's like, uh, it has to do with World War II. And so I used to be a big World War II geek as an elementary school kid and um, grew up uh, loving uh, war movies and uh, 
just uh, anything that had to do with World War II, uh, I was really into. We, we used to, me and my brother, we used to build uh, uh, models, you know, airplanes, uh, tanks, and uh, the old Tamiyas. And uh, back in the day when we, you know, first emigrated, we, we built the Ravel um, models. I don't know if some of you guys remember those. But anyway, um, yeah, grew up doing that. I had, you know, my brother would make his pretty nice, but uh, with my... Uh, ADD. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't wait for the glue to dry to move on to the next step. So I would just, uh, yeah, <laughs> have a melting mess at the end, right? <laughs> my DTL just reached out to me and uh, asked me to change my schedule from Monday to Friday to Tuesday to Saturday. Uh, talked it over with my wife. And uh, we're going to give it a go. Um, I think it might be a permanent thing. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I had my uh, old uh, cigar group that used to meet on uh, Monday. So hopefully we can start meeting again. Uh, yeah. But uh, so this week was uh, very eventful as always. You know, there's always something going on in trucking. So... I want to let you guys know that if you guys ever think about this as a career, always expect the unexpected. A lot of things will happen, you know. You make your plans, but, you know, things will just uh, go awry or uh, you'll have a lot of hiccups along the way. But uh, if you stick with it, it could be decent or it could be miserable. <laughs> I guess it depends on who you are and uh, where you work. So, yeah. Stuck in the last stretch of the grapevine. There's a. We've been stuck here. We're not moving at all. I don't know for how long. It's been a long time. We're just sitting here. But there is some vehicle on fire over there. A lot of smoke. They're not letting anybody through. I hope nobody's hurt. It's crazy. So as I passed this uh, accident, it ended up being a trailer of a tractor on fire and it just consumed the whole rig like the semi truck was all burnt out and also the the middle of that truck was completely consumed and uh it was it's pretty crazy i can't you know it's when i drove by it it was kind of like like horrific because well hopefully nobody got hurt it seemed like there wasn't you know anybody in there probably he probably got out in time he or she but um yeah the rest of that thing was just completely gone like fire just devoured it i don't know what was inside but pretty scary but something whatever was inside caught on fire and then uh combusted it might have been uh, a tire on fire yeah you never know or it might have been something that had to do with the truck or the trailer but or, or it could have been the cargo So it's Thursday night. I'm at a Flying J in Northern California. Uh, some guy named Edgar uh, came up to me, introduced himself, and uh, he's watching my videos, so my YouTube videos. So I was kind of shocked. And we chatted a little bit, and he actually told me that he was humbled by my videos. But he's a 10-year veteran. I'm like humbled because uh, somebody uh, that's been in the industry that long is actually entertained by uh, me uh, talking about trucking, huh? <laughs> well, anyway, shout out to Edgar. Uh, thanks for being kind and uh, saying those nice things. Hope to see you around. Cheers. So this is my 12th week of driving. I started training in the beginning of January this year, but my actual driving time alone with my truck started 12 weeks ago. As you probably saw earlier in this video, a lot of unexpected things happen, you know, um, calling emergency services twice for uh, tires on trailers. That takes up a lot of time. Each, each time is like three, I don't know, like three, four hours easy, right? And uh, that eats in a lot. I mean, I get paid for on duty, uh, but still, you rather be driving than on duty. You know, on duty pay is not that great. Um, yeah, I think it's normal for people at this point to start feeling tired. You're doing the same things over and over again. You're facing a lot of different types of problems. And, you know, um, and for any of you watching that are kind of in my shoes or that have been driving for a while, I would encourage you guys to hang in there and, you know, make each day uh, your best day. Uh, put in your best strength and your best energy, you know. Try not to get your, you know, frustration, maybe road rage and stuff like that uh, get to you and, and affect other people, right? Um, yeah, you know, like when you drive, it's it's really hard to not get upset when you're 
when you see these crazy people sometimes i see them and they're they look like they're playing a game of uh, mario kart or something they're just zipping in and out in and out with i mean i get it like if you're a good driver and you're fast that's one thing but these people are just crazy erratic drivers sometimes when trucks big trucks slow down it's not like it's not a big deal it is a big deal because to build back the momentum that you lost takes a lot of diesel and a lot of uh, uh time so like if you're cruising at i don't know like 50 60 i don't know 55 miles per hour right in in arizona we get to go 65 right we're going 65 and somebody uh, um cuts you off yeah and you 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 have to slow down or somebody's coming on the on-ramp and they don't they're not paying attention to this huge semi truck you know um coming down that that lane and the lanes merging with the on-ramp some of these people aren't paying attention and at the, at the last minute they cut right in front of you right and you gotta you gotta slam on the brakes and uh, when you slow down like that to actually build back momentum especially when you're going kind of uphill <laughs> those are and you've got a you got a full you know you got a heavy load right um yeah yeah you know sometimes like you don't even know it but some choice words just come out of flying out of your mouth and so uh it can get frustrating and um and then to build that speed back up to you know go back to 55 or 65 you know whichever state you're in right um it it takes time and so it just it's just frustrating and so um but you know at the end of the day um you look back on it you know when at the heat of that moment you, you might feel frustrated but you look back and it's it's not really a big deal it's just uh, it's a part of the drive it's part of driving and uh you know you just have to in increase your capacity to handle it if not you'll go bonkers <laughs> you it will drive you crazy you know um there are people out there just you know really they get aggravated flip people off and you know they're not uh, afraid to uh potentially get into altercations because of stuff like this and uh i want to encourage everybody to you know just take it in stride remain calm and you know and keep driving you know <laughs> i mean what else are we gonna do right most of the times if something happens it's the trucker's fault right <laughs> anyway um even though it's not our fault we get blamed for it right um yeah so um the 12 weeks have been you know you've seen my videos all the things that i've been going through and i think uh some people have it a lot more challenging uh, i might be one of those people that are more blessed and i you know i don't have serious issues right um but uh, this is my journey and uh, you know I'm kind of showing you what I'm going through um, I did I did get paid for those miles that uh, they didn't uh, pay me for uh, a few weeks back and um, that's all cleared up I want to just move on um, you know somebody asked me how do I like Schneider I still like Schneider you know um, it's got uh, it's got its ups and downs you know like I'm, I'm sure every company does right but it's got more pros and cons right now I'm kind of like more of an extrovert, I think, than an introvert. And uh, although I like, as I get older, I do like my downtime and um, like being by myself sometimes. Whereas before, I always wanted to hang out with people all the time. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm older now, and and I appreciate the downtime or the quiet times, right? But uh, I think trucking. I mean, if you love driving and you're an introvert, you probably will enjoy uh, uh, trucking. Um, I mean, minus the, the the headaches and the obstacles. If you're like one of those people that don't like uh, problems, you know, or, or dealing with people too much, or problem solving or whatever, then yeah, maybe not. But, but anyway, um, yeah, so far, so good. And, uh, you know, the money is pretty good. Um, for a first year guy, I think I'm, I'm, I got lucky with uh, getting into the account that I did. And uh, not lucky, but blessed. I got blessed with getting into the account that I did. So I'm gonna stick it out for a while and uh, see how things go. This week, I was mostly going back and forth uh, to Phoenix. Towards the end of the week, I got sent up here to uh, Northern California, right south of Stockton, a place called French Camp. I should be getting an assignment to go down um, tomorrow and uh, go back home for the weekend. This week, uh, I'll probably, because of the two blown tires, I'll probably end up with like about 22, 2100 miles. Um, I wanna get more miles, but the circumstances don't allow me to get the miles. For one reason or another you know last week it was the maintenance this week it's the two blown tires you know something always seems to come up in this job right and so you just have to take it with stride so striving to break 2500 miles in one week now for a one day total uh, on monday i did drive uh 627 miles which is i think the best i've done in one day uh, in a truck and a small car probably I've, I've driven a lot more but 
in a truck 627 miles in one day is pretty good so um i know you otr guys are probably sitting there going oh, that's that's an average day for me you know <laughs> and especially you out of state guys you know the people that are uh you know uh in other states right uh, you get to you get to cruise at higher speeds and stuff but uh when you're doing mostly arizona and uh california uh, it's yeah, 627 is pretty good. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for uh, watching these videos. Um, I mostly started these videos to just to inform my friends and uh, family my life change in trucking, you know, going into trucking and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's there's a lot of people that I don't know that are watching these videos. And I guess if you guys keep watching them, they're at least somewhat entertaining and or beneficial to you. I hope uh, they are, and I hope you're not wasting your time looking at this mug, you know, yap, 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 right? <laughs> anyway, cheers, and thanks for supporting my journey, and I wish you a good week. Uh, stay positive, stay strong, and uh, God bless. Take it easy, guys.